But what I, I do notice, we have seven angry dwarves. And I'm thinking maybe I should see what that's about. Alistair's upset. <laughs> I am a very, very important person. Unmet need. Be extravagant. Be creative. Craft object. Be with family. Okay. My vassal! More my vassal! My vassal! Everybody's my vassal! Every, every, everybody's my vassal! <laughs> oh, that spooked me a little bit. <laughs> this child is just stressed. And I don't know why. <laughs> they're they're just they're stressed. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Um no no mall. He's a nervous wreck. He does not enjoy participating in physical confrontations, and he works to square this natural tendency with his respect of martial prowess. He has great trouble mastering fear when confronted by danger. He sometimes acts with little deliberation and confidence. He tends to be a bit stubborn in changing his mind about things. He often feels discouraged. He often feels lustful. He finds helping others emotionally rewarding. A turnaround after seeing the Etten, uh, su the Etten, su Sutu, a wisp lilac's dead body in 79. He has a sense of duty. He prefers to present himself modestly. He is quick to anger. He tends to ask others for help with difficult decisions. He has a tendency towards forming a deep emotional bonds with others. He thinks he's fairly important in the grand scheme of things and is assertive. Though I suppose that's where we get the anxious thing is being a nervous wreck. The beekeeper is upset as well. Because of lots of unmet needs. Like crafting. We have another stressed dwarven child. Huh. Here we have in their personality currently. Like these statements are preceded with she is currently. She is currently less private. She is currently more rude. She is currently more fearless. She is currently more confident and shameless and thoughtless. It's because they're seeing all these dead bodies, I think. Oh, also, she saw somebody die. And she was dwelling upon the fact that she had to drink without using a goblet, cup, or a mug. Oh my gosh, she w Wait, 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 chat back up. She was disgusted dwelling upon being forced to drink vomit. I'm sorry, what? Also, when did her doggo die? Do I allow children to haul dead bodies? I believe we must. What kind of fortress are you running here? Uh, what? Why are we drinking vomit? Like. What in the world? He felt isolated after being unable to find somebody in charge to cry on. Felt gratitude remembering being rescued. And I think that is the Dwarf Fortress equivalent. Yeah, drink my liquor or my beer without a mug. Okay, Fath is unhappy too.
She likes a little excitement now and then after seeing lead one wa wandered vessels dead body in 79. I'm not 100% certain why Fath is upset besides being a really bad thief because Fath was the one who stole some stuff and then they were um, accused of it and then, uh, what's the word? Convicted. <laughs> they were convicted of theft. Confessed to it, so... I don't know, Fath. That seems like your fault. <laughs> I ate a meal. I am not contented. <laughs> Do some of our dwarves just want to be extravagant? They want to acquire things, so I guess we just need to make stuff. You know, like, I, I probably should make clothing or just make objects. He does not easily hate or develop negative feelings after seeing the Etten's dead body. Okay. Soldier with no activity. I slept in a bedroom. I'm content. Are you, though? What does it mean to be pusillanimous? I feel like I heard this word in, like, elementary school. Like, you know when, uh, we had to do... At least, when I was in school, we had these books that were just, like, um... Vocabulary books, and they would have a word with all the synonyms, and we'd have to, like, use them in sentences and whatnot. And that was homework, you know? And I feel like that was one of the words I learned like, way back when, because it seems familiar, but I have no idea what it means. Alright, Kavish has been taken by a Fey mood. Nasty. Strange mood. Let's follow them around for a minute. While I look something up. I'm reading about glass because I I want to make glass. So sand produces green glass. Sand and pearl ash makes clear glass. Rock crystal and pearl ash makes crystal glass. Raw glass cannot be made into glass items, excluding strange moods, but can be cut into gem-like items used for decorating. Glass can be produced at the mason's workshop with the accession of slabs, quarns, and millstones. It can be used to make tubes. Raw glass, especially raw green glass, is excellent practice for aspiring jewelers. The value of glass is on par with low to mid value gemstones, meaning a source of sand on your map. Used in tandem with a magma glass furnace makes decoration with raw cut green glass essentially free and very lucrative. While training legendary glassmakers and jewelers. Glass can also be made into blocks. Oh wait, did we wait, we're, we're at the bench. Oh! Kivish has begun a mysterious construction. Yeah, but so how do I turn we turn sand into green glass with fuel, but then how do I get green glass? Because that, that produces raw glass, right? We get, we get from sand to raw glass. But then how do we go from raw glass into, like, nice glass? Okay, I found a different page. The limiting reagents in glass production are sand and fuel. 
Small quantities of sand can regularly be acquired from caravans, but rarely enough to run an industry. Soil layers may or may not include sand. But there's no way to tell until you embark, apparently. I'm not sure if that's true. Okay, so we collect sand. Oh, here's something interesting. Green glass items are worth twice as much as objects made from stone. There's a whole flowchart. Textiles and leather used to make sandbags, which are then put into a glass furnace, which can be turned into raw glass, which is turned into gems. We can turn it into a finished good for trade, trap components, or furniture. So by furniture slash construction, that's like blocks, armor stands, weapon racks, cabinets, coffins. So I, I don't think that we go from raw glass to finished glass. I think we actually just make finished glass by turning it from sand in a furnace directly into an item. Petition denied. You need sand for green glass, sand and pearl ash for clear, and rock crystal and pearl ash for um, 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 crystal glass. Yes. Vinorak, you are correct. I believe. I think. <laughs> so I do have a glass furnace. I think. Here we go. Make raw clear glass. We can't do that. make raw green glass which is turned into gems i don't want to do that either what i want to do with glass yeah okay this is what we do make an enormous green glass corkscrew <laughs> An enormous glass corkscrew, that's... why? A drill? I'm just imagining that. I feel like if you're gonna make a gigantic corkscrew, you should make it out of diamonds or something. That way it can actually penetrate rock layers. Make a green glass window. Hmm, okay, so the reason why I want to do all this in the first place is because I don't want pedestals. I want display cases. So to make a display case, I assume I need a green glass window. And so these things are far more worthwhile than... Oh, can I make uh, goblets? Oh, yeah, let's make goblets. How much glass do we have? I mean, sand. The answer is we have n no glass, but I do actually have some raw glass that I bought from the uh, the trader. Oh, and speaking of the trader, should come soon. TM. Red sand, black sand, white sand, sand. Any clay? We don't have much at all. Unless one unit of sand. That's just like one bag of sand. Hold on. Um, blah, 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 display case. Display case. Let's just look up Dwarf Fortress display case. Display furniture. There are two types available, pedestals and display cases. Thank you, Wikipedia or Dwarf Fortress Wiki. Display cases are created from a log and a window at a carpenter's workshop. Okay, we want to make windows. Got it. Windows, windows, windows. I wanted to look for not sand, but raw green glass. So all this raw glass that I bought from the trader doesn't actually get turned into anything. We use this to cut gems. So right now I have like a never-ending bill 
that is basically oops gems if the amount of r uh, rough gems gem rough gems is greater than 20 cut 10 of them so that's just never ending because I have so many rough gems I, I guess we just type in rough I don't actually have as much as I thought. Only 38. I guess we cut them all. So then I want to make a new one. Cut raw glass into gems. 10 times. I believe are almost finished. This side, this whole construct, I believe, has. been built this has as well we've closed this all off and we're still working on this outer layer here oh <gasps> somebody built the stairs whoa the stairs got built yesterday i typed in bards because i was thinking about bards <laughs> um yesterday a number of our bards got killed by a bronze colossus that showed up and I didn't my, my bards were like fairly useless so instead of them being that way and being useless I put them to work building things so they were you know training in the art of building and then the colossus showed up and just like killed a bunch of people <laughs> just a bunch of people and a number of bards it was the saddest tale ever written. Whoops. We did need a pet love command, now we have one. Hooray! Yay! You're a useless bard? No, I don't think so, TX. I... Your dwarf has a name, which means they're a dwarf. A dwarf. No? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh yeah, and we made it to the caverns. What? Are they ever going to clean up all this blood? And vomit? There's just blood and vomit literally everywhere. Alert! A caravan has arrived. Their wagons have bypassed your inaccessible site. The merchants need to try a depot. Oh no, they have bypassed me? I hope they haven't bypassed me. I forgot that I wanted to build that. I never made them a spa, did I? I have an idea. The problem is if they've, it says they've bypassed your inaccessible site. Like they've just arrived and left or they need a depot to unload their goods. No more monster hunters. Oh, Alistair Boop. booped you and then you booped yourself. Okay, I'm just not on the same page as chat. That's not unusual. How big is this trade thingamabob anyway? Trade Depot. I'm kind of thinking that we can just put it somewhere in here. 
if I just move some walls and rearrange some doors, it would fit nice and snugly in here. Boop. So, like, we could move this mudstone door back to where we had it in the wall. Take this one out, take this out entirely, so this would be a solid wall. And this maybe wouldn't be here, this whole door wall thingy. It's kind of just, like, it's not zoned or anything. I was waiting for a use case to arrive, and I think it might have. So if we did that, then we can kind of just butt it up against the door? Oh, or right here if I move both doors. Boop. Boop. I'm just trying to think of how I can still continue to separate the room based on Boop. zoning. We could also just turn this into the other side of the tomb, instead of making an entirely new tomb, which I'm already doing, I could just... Yeah, okay, let's change it up. I wish there was a blueprint mode. Boop. I know there's a blueprint mode for mining, but... Let's see here. I'm gonna install a door. Ugh. Okay, let's put in double doors. Double doors! We Exclamation to... mark boo. Exclamation mark boo to you! We're gonna put in double doors, so they're straight. Also, Ooh. remove these. Remove this building. Remove this building. Remove this building. So say we do put the thingamabob here. <laughs> Hi, Psycho Much. Is that a chicken? Um... Maybe. <laughs> I think it shall involve a bit of rearranging. So it, it won't be the same on both sides anymore. Goodbye, cemetery. This goes to about here. Do shale? I think shale is a good match. Shale and shale. Let's leave those two pieces, take all this out, and then we're gonna want to take this out as well. And so if we're expanding this into the tomb, Making this the tomb. Well, then we don't need this door here either, do we? Delete! Right now the tomb just kind of is a U. <laughs> we can take this out. I want this to turn back out go this way, but then I want this to continue to be a wall. Nope. I swear I just used the eraser tool on this. Okay, well that could actually be fixed by just going that way. Let's start with that and see how we feel. Just a bit of RimWorld. <laughs> Dwarfborn is so good. Love the vertical building. Have you tried Dwarf Fortress, Alana? 
Uh... Salentre was on camera once, and that was when I applied him to the face. And that is the tip alert. Because the tip alert is the one that comes through the least. So if you tip through uh, stream elements or PayPal, you'll, you'll see at the very least his face in pie. But it's still obscured. <laughs> Hi, Crypt Keeper. YouTube sounds like a social media platform where the undead share videos and vlogs about all the things that they do. Or maybe it's where necromancers go. You know, like, your regular adventurer goes to the tavern. Um, necromancers. You can find them on YouTube. <laughs> I'm the best streamer on the platform with all of my pet cams. Oh, did Emmy just shove herself in there with Kuma? And both of them are hanging off the edge of the bed? It's so fun! I know! Alana, I can't stop... playing. I can't stop playing this game. Like, every, every day I'm like, I should play something different today! I can't just become... a permanent Dwarf Fortress streamer. <laughs> I'm... I think I've become a permanent Dwarf Fortress streamer. So tomorrow. Tomorrow. Holiday stream. <laughs> okay. So, the caravan, we're making space for that, hopefully soon. Change mood is happening. We've mostly finished the wall and the tower. I think I am free to move on to the next project that I had in mind. Ooh, temples. <laughs> Emmy has to follow Kuma. You don't have time to be obsessed with both Dwarf Fortress and Rimworld. I know. You really don't, especially because Dwarf Fortress like takes forever to play. Partially because I don't know what I'm doing, and partially because it's a really complicated game. Oh my, they they really found a lot of veins. Let's set up some auto mining. Ooh. So much to auto mine. <laughs> We've almost got this whole layer. <laughs> this has just been me digging for things. Dicky dicky dicky. We're digging a hole. Okay. So a long time ago. I said that I wanted to build a tunnel that would basically go from the fortress to over here. So that way we could gather things easier. The only problem is... If we're going to do that, I think we might want to start... Oops. Give this layer... This layer... I think we probably want to start it here. Ooh, and the water moves through here too. I... I need to figure out how to use water. That's my next project, by the way. Water. Crypt Keeper. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have no tips on ZBrush. <laughs> As I just concluded saying, I gotta figure out water. <laughs> we have a river moving right through here. This should be easy, right? Maybe? I don't know. What is this? Apparently that's where I- uh, Where I wanted to build my tower? Oh my gosh. Hmm. 
Hmm, let's maybe do like a two wide hallway. That goes this way. And then somewhere here, I think I want to build a drawbridge. Picking a well that works is pretty satisfying and a good lesson in water pressure. Ooh, water's scary. Yeah, well... Maybe if we just do it, it'll be fine. Ew, the floor is all unsmoothed under there. Gross. Can't smooth that? Okay. Let's see. I think... Church is what matches? We can already put the doors in because I believe they will smooth under doors. Keep building after placement. No, I put down shale doors, didn't I? Shale. Cancel that one. All this flashing is really confusing. Flashing, flashing! Shirt. Shale? Shale. Shale doors. Shale doors. Shale. Shale doors. Okay. Setting a stockpile over vomit encourages dwarves to clean up quickly. You build a waterfall that goes around your main stairwell? That sounds super cool. I would like to learn how to do that. Okay, that's all smoothed. Ooh, let's use green! I have a, a green uh, trading thingy. <laughs> a green trading thingy. Oh, perfect. And then I can just put doors back here. Like so. Shirt and shirt. Okay, this was unable to be visualized. <gasps> okay. Kivish, the cook, has created Convakist, a church figurine of lead bronze poles. He offers it to the intense swords. That's me. That's my government. The intense swords. We're super intense. Okay, that's already smooth. Diplomacy! I am your liaison from the mountain homes. You continue to impress! I have come in power to elevate this land in the eyes of our realm. Okay. Requests for next year's caravan. Leather. Cloth. Silk. Mm, I don't think we need seeds. Um, oh, rock nuts. Yeah, 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 rock nuts. Bring the rock nuts, please. I still haven't found rock nuts. Like, I know we had them somewhere, but like, where? Weapons, ammo, trap components. I don't need any of that. What I do need is food. Bring that. Bring that. Bring that. Garden veggies. Plants. Oh, yeah, bring that. I'll just mark one thing. In hopes that they bring all sorts of stuff. Because chat told me if you mark one thing, they'll probably bring others as well. And the others will not be marked up. Because things that you mark, the price goes up by like 200%. Glass. Sand. I would really like if they brought sand. Sheets. Oh! That's paper! 
Here I was thinking that sheets were like sheets for a bed. It's paper. Red would be great. Cloth would be great. Ropes would be great. Bags would be great. <laughs> Eggs would be great. Do I have anything to sell? I probably do, actually. Crutches, splints, buckets, misc, glass. Oh, sand. Barrels. Silk ropes. You know what? Yes to that, too. Because we had some trouble with not having things available for certain crafters back in the day, and they went berserk and attacked people, and then those people died because of infections. And I just want to prevent that from happening again by making sure that we have the things that we need. I don't know what dwarven syrup is. I don't, oh, just, I'm gonna request one of everything. Oh yeah, don't forget the drinks. Boys. Shields, legwear, footwear. Digging implements! AKA picks. You should just call them picks. Anvils, seeds, stone blocks, gems, metal bars. I forget what they wanted me to have prepared for them this year. Yep, those are marked up. Let's discuss what we are willing to offer for your next craft dwarf ship. A need for legwear and drinks is expected, and if you are able to provide some, the caravan will offer 208% and 215% respectively. Legwear and drinks. You know what? I'm struggling with that myself. What are rock nuts good for? Rock nuts. Ooh, I like this color. This is really cool. Rock nuts are used for something helpful, right? Um, this. Milling. Mill season nuts to a paste. I don't know why I have rock nuts here. The amount of unrotten oil-bearing seed is greater than 10. But then I also need to make sure that we're not using those seeds for something else. Okay, they're all... <gasps> We have so many plump helmet seeds. Forbidden fisherberry wine and rice beer are restricted from cooking. We should restrict all of this from cooking. Oh, that's where it's been going. Oh, I finally figured it out. <laughs> That's where it's going because we haven't had any dwarven ale, beer, rum, or wine on hand. I couldn't tell them to stop cooking with it. Because, strangely enough, you're only able to forbid. Hooray! Yay! You're only able to forbid things from the kitchen if you have it on hand, which I really don't like. And I suppose maybe it's an attempt not to overwhelm the player by giving you this massive list of things that you don't have. But I just prefer setting and forgetting. You know, this is something that you can do in RimWorld very easily. You can make a bill, set it, it's a pain in the butt, but then you can forget it. For like ever. This requires me to be like very on top of my stockpiles, which... I am not. <laughs> I actually had a an idea for my next fort. I like this fort a lot. I like how symmetrical it is. But what I want to do for my next fort... Maybe I shouldn't tell you. And we can just experience it together. Oh, Dwarven Syrup is molasses. How do you stop the kitchen from using fat? So yours keep disappearing before you can render tallow. I know the answer to this. Hold on. Processing. Processing. Yak tallow. No. Don't cook with that. 
Like this. Again, you have to have... You have to have it on hand. So that's under meat, fish, and others. You can turn it off here. So like, yak tallow. Which I got from butchering my yaks because you don't just get meat like you would in Rimworld. You get all the stuff like brains and intestines and lungs. Yum! And you also get fat. And so you can tell them to stop using it for cooking. But it would be nice if I could just say all tallow. Donkey tallow. Nope. Good call on this too. Mule tallow. No. Rhinoceros? I must have gotten that from Trader. There should be a toggle to show items that you have. All items are just that you have in stock. Yes. I also 100% agree on that. Got a butcher and watch closely to catch them after they've made it, but before they cook it. Yes, that's... <laughs> For a game that's not very micromanagey, that in and of itself is very micromanagey. If you process rock bushes to bags, your dwarves can regain a full seed per quarry bush. Quarry bush? You get rock nests from quarry bushes? If you process rock bushes? So... Apologies that I can't answer these very straightforwardly because I have been learning pieces of these chains over like multiple streams and out of order. So some of them are like in my head, but not quite. Render fat. Okay, so I have, I have a work order. Render fat. Do, 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 do. If the amount of unrotten fat renderable glob <laughs> Okay, it's it's uh it's a mouthful, but unrotten fat renderable glob. And a glob can be all kinds of stuff, but it's something fatty. So this one is a renderable fatty glob. Render that into tallow. So that seems to be what they have done in the kitchen. Because I have donkey tallow, I have mule tallow, and I have yak tallow. So forbid that from cooking, and then use that tallow To make soap. Make soap from tallow. But that also requires lye. So I make lye from what? Ash. So we make you burn wood to make ash. So that's that's another thing that you do. Okay, this is like it's a whole thing. In your wood furnace or just anywhere, make ash. <laughs> However you want. Just like make sure you have ash around. Ash gets turned into lye somehow. Somehow that happens. You can then do a couple things with lye. You can make potash. And potash can be used in multiple things, but it, mainly it's a fertilizer, so you can fertilize your fields with potash. So, you got lye, you have potash from ash, 
from wood as your as your source material. And on the flip side, you need to butcher animals, render their fat into tallow, make sure you forbid it in the kitchen, which is a pin in the butt, and then make soap from tallow and fly. Process plant to bag. Ooh. Really? Hi, Curveal. How are the devious dwarves doing today? They're doing. Now, how do we farm rock nuts? I, I haven't found rock nuts. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm looking it up. Rock nuts. Quarry bush. It is a subterranean crop. That can be planted spring, summer, and autumn, not in the winter. But it, so we just need quarry bushes. Quarry bushes. Quarry bushes. Cavern, 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 caverns. That is cave wheat, plump helmets, sweet pods, bunk wood. Plump helmets. Sweet pods. What does it look like? Is there a picture? <laughs> sure, there's a picture in ASCII. <laughs> that helps. Mixing water and hardwood ash literally, literally creates potassium chloride, which is a form of lye. My silophone. In the middle of the screen? Dimple cups. Cave wheat. Pigtails. Toggle to ASCII. Little bushes. Actually, I'm not sure that there's a picture of it in ASCII. Okay, koi bushes may be processed at a farmer's workshop uh, by selecting process plant to bag. If you will need empty bags available, this will result in bags of koi bush leaves, which can then be cooked. Koi bushes cannot be brewed into alcohol. Uh, one quarry bush will provide five quarry bush leaves and one rock nut for every plant in a given stack of quarry bushes. Quarry bush leaves will be removed from their bag if taken for cooking while still in the farmer's workshop. Question. Do you get your bags back? Or are bags just like exhausted into nothingness? Like if we put sand in a bag or quarry bushes into a bag and then finish the stuff inside the bag does the bag become you get it back you do yeah i don't i don't see these supposed bushes hey there's a dwarf down here Plump helmets, dimple cups, dimple cups, dimple cups, dimple cups, cups, dimple cups. You get them back empty. Barrels, pots, bins, etc. Hmm. Okay, so we're growing plump helmets here, cave wheat. I guess we should grow some quarry bushes. <laughs> Fertilize every season. Maybe I don't want to set these to fertilize. Do they dig the plants up if I fertilize? I don't know. Okay, 
So I'm gonna make a third, fifth, sixth? <laughs> Leaf fallow. No, quarry bushes. Fertilize every season. Set to fertilize. So these are my subterranean plants. Miasma! From what? Troglodyte corpses. Why are they bringing troglodyte corpses up here? Oh, there's a bunch of them! Rotten troglodyte corpse. Mmm. Tasty. I think that's it. I think that's it. It's a corpse stockpile, but... I do recall chat saying something about how your dwarves won't butcher humanoids. So it seems odd to me that I can't filter here that corpses, like, exclude humanoids. So I, I have... I have corpses because I, I want them to take corpses and things here that are actually edible, but not the humanoids. <laughs> Exclude humanoids. If it's a corpse, it's usually too old to be butchered anyways. So, will they just take corpses, like, I guess, to the butcher, right? We don't need to store them here. The designate, the only designated to slaughter are caught by hunter, so they just, okay. So we probably don't want to keep corpses here. Any animal carcass that's butcherable is automatically processed by the butcher. Okay, so yeah, let's not keep corpses here then. We also need more stockpile space. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. I'm gonna build some sort of drawbridge trap thingy over there. What's happening over here? We're just waiting. If I fill this in... Do I want to fill that in? Let's throw a wall down right here. A chert wall. I think we can actually mine all of this out. Maybe leave... this. And that's just going to be the other side. Oh, it's done. That's just going to be the other side of the tomb. We're probably going to need to edit this a bit. <laughs> Shrink. Whoa. Slaughtered. Somebody's fighting. The cave crocodile is attacking down below and it seems like they have killed it. So they won't they won't eat the cave crocodile? If there's something butcherable, it is a high priority process where they take it directly to the butcher. 
It's not raw. It's it is too. Oh, a large square brilliantly cut green glass gem. Uh, we turned into a duchy and Tekkit is now a duke. Needs jet. Yeah, I don't think we have any more jet. The Granite Hall, a minor guild, has been established. I'm going the wrong way. Bloop, 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 bloop. Hmm, okay. Wait, what did that say? Unnamed Sculpture Garden. They, they put a statue in there. <laughs> we need more jet for the greatness of our walls. We actually have mostly finished all of our jet projects. Oh my gosh, there's only a few pieces left. I built that in the wrong spot. Shameful. All right. Take out the staircase. That one's already gone. So is that one. So just those two remain. It's a little bloody up here, but look, we have animals in a pen. A proper pen. And bridges to get there. I made a gigantic drawbridge. Yay. It's completed! I think this is probably good enough for defenses on this tile. Yay! You think the caravan's not gonna stop by? Whee! Or is that the- <gasps> The trader! Yes! Okay, move goods to and from the depot. Gems. Why when I type gems do bars and blocks come up? Gem bin number 29. Leather bins. Do I only have one gem bin? No. Gem bin? How come when I type gem, I get all this stuff, but then if I type gems, uh, I guess because it is a gem, no S bin. Gem bin. Finished goods bin. Finished goods. Finished goods bin. Whoop, here we go. Here's another two. goods. This is a really hard menu to look at. It kind of hurts my eyes. Death Ark! Oh my goodness, Death Ark, thank you so much for the new subscription with Prime, welcome! Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Please enjoy the emotes. Um, we have sound effects and ad-free viewing. Thank you so much. 
Welcome! Hi, Big Data! My vassal! More my vassal! My vassal! Everybody's my vassal! Oh, and Deathstark, thank you for gifting two subs to the community! To user 422369 and Riz the Wizard. Thank you very much, Deathstark! Followed one minute ago, thank you for that. Subbed with Prime and then gave out two subs. That's very kind of you, thank you. Value sort function? Wait, 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 what do you mean a value sort function? Oh my gosh. Sort by value. A weapon bin. What does this mean? They're banned by export? Banned by export mandates. Okay, well, I'm still gonna bring it. Arbitrary. Today I learned about the sort by value button. That's very helpful. Down me go, gem bins, ammo, armor. I'd be willing to sell armor if only my squads themselves were fully equipped with armor themselves. I just refuse to put things on. Okay, good enough. Yeah, I, I do know that you can collapse it, but thank you, Pess. I just didn't do it. Shirt door. How about a shell door? Merchants have arrived. Stuff's been completed. We have visitors, puppies. Because nobody is gelding the animals. I have marked everything for gelding, and it hasn't been done. Blind cave bears? I don't know what that button is. You had a goblin siege show up, and they spawned on some wild alligators. Well, rip. Also, broker requested at depot. Trade. I think I would like to buy all of this. They got some pearl ash. Not much. But they have coke and charcoal. They have barrels of beer, rum, and wine, and lye. Plaster. I don't know that we need plaster. Quick lime. I don't even know what we do with quick lime. Dimple dye. Quick lime bag. Sugar? These are all really expensive. Come back around to that. I do still want the sand though. Cloth. Yes. All of it. All the meat, all the fish, all the plants, all the hides, all the leaves. <laughs> all the everything! We can totally afford this! It's just a measly 30.5 thousand that we have. To trade back here. Hmm. 
is that? Oh, the earrings worth approximately 10,000, but we're not sure. Crossbows. Why do we have so many crossbows? Iron picks. I actually think I made these. That's why we have so many of them. It's the ugliest shade of brown possible. Yes. Hmm. We need a farmer's workshop. How do we not have a farmer's workshop? Okay. We shall sell that bin. And that bin. It's not worth much. <laughs> Let me turn all this off. Trade a profit 562. So that gives me sand. I do really want that lie. Trader profit still in green. Let's see if I'll take 227 as a good profit. Nice. Okay, so I don't think we finished delivering everything. I'm guessing those are the, the bins that are actually worth money. We had a werehorse attack last night, and apparently it bit somebody because one by one the rest of your dwarves turned into werehorses. <laughs> your fortress is pretty unstable. But, um, what about all this that's still out here? The leather bins? We just have leather. Looks like we're grabbing stuff. Okay. What is. Oh! <gasps> Green glass windows, they're really pretty. Okay, so... Wow! I'm gonna take these two things down in an attempt to make proper display cases. So what all do we have now? We've got a weapon bin that's purple. Here's our gems. It's 30,000 question mark. Around 30,000. So I will maybe skip the rough ones because they're not worth much. And then we can cut them. They'll be worth more later. Trillion cut rubies, worth quite a bit. Apparently rubies are just worth quite a bit. Your next fortress was, raised, was named Romance Whips. Tough love. Opals are worth a lot too. Ooh, octagon cut black opals. Radiant cut rubies. Marquee cut rubies. I don't know what any of this means. Do they just kind of make what they want? Goodness, there's so many things. Rose cut indigo tourmaline.
can't believe how many cut gems we have. Somebody's been busy. Square brilliant cut rubies. Round brilliant cut rubies. Oh, it looks like a diamond. Cushion cut. Square cut. I didn't realize there were so many different ways to cut a gem. <laughs> I really didn't. Oh no! Oh, I clicked back. I... Uh, I hit right click and it cancelled everything! Let's go from the bottom. Yeah, big oof. How painful, because I, I learned last time that if you select all these things individually, you make more money than selecting the bin. I guess because my broker or somebody can't assess an entire bin just by looking at it or something, so it's easier just to do it one by one by one by one. Just don't hit back! That hurts a little bit. I think I was almost to the end. There's 169 items in here or something. Them cutting's pretty interesting. If you look at the Reich's grown, they didn't have the text. So most gems are big honkers and woven in wire. Yeah, like, how do you cut a gem? I have an idea, but... I feel like it involves lasers or something? Then again, my dwarves don't have lasers, so... Scissors? <laughs> yeah, you know, just snip it. And then when you cut a gem, what do you do with all the excess? Does it just become gem powder? Hi, Master Niles. Smash them with bigger, stronger gems. I mean, I guess you could, right? Because diamond diamonds are really, really tough. Oh, I don't want to sell the rough ones. It's usually ground off and then probably polished. No crossbows. Yes to the bags. Yes to the bins of leather. Yes to that. Yes to that. Yes to that. Yes to that. And this. And that. And this. And that. This too. Not that. Eggs? Okay, so trader loss is sitting at 3,500-ish. So I need to find 3,500-ish worth of things to sell. We got a lot of rough gems. Still not cut. Although we did... Large, square, bri brilliantly cut green glass. Green glass ring. Where did all these things come from? An elf tooth crown. You know what? You can have that. Finished goods. Wh Why do we have so many earrings? Did I make these? I think I did. Hi there, June Gamer. They're cut using grinding stones. And hi, Doug! And hi, Mike! They're cut and polished by progressive abrasion using finer and finer grits of harder substances. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking. Like, you would use diamonds, right? Earrings are fast to make and keep your your 
Craft Happy Dwarves busy. Yeah, I mean, and apparently we can also sell them. It's not the most lucrative thing. Ma... Ma... Pa okay, I got this ma... Patch a boom. Patch a boom. Yeah, we are rolling in copper. I got, like, so much copper. Last I checked, we had, like, hundreds of bars of copper. That might have changed now, but... We still have... All these figurines. This is gonna clear up my stockpiles a lot. Okay, the trader's still sitting at a loss, which is not good, because I don't have anything else to sell. Unless I sold... an artifact. Which I want to avoid if possible. You could sell toys too. A copper mini forge. How cute. Copper chain, copper earring, copper toys, <laughs> copper mini forge. Okay, we're getting there. Our green glass ring. Let's sell that. The most lucrative thing is lavish meals. Ma... Ma... Pa... Ma... Pa... Che... Kaboom. Ma... Pa... Che... Kaboom? Raccoon in Spanish. Raccoon Kaboom! Hmm, <laughs> copper is really cheap, so it's a good idea to process them like this. Also, good XP on craft orbs before they go to silver and gold. I don't even think I have any silver and gold. Let's sell that. We're still in the in the loss for the trader, and I know they don't like that. I missed a couple there. We still need 904 more somethings. I mean, or we could just not buy... I feel like we should buy this stuff, though. Winter is coming. We should buy everything that we can get. All I gotta do is not be greedy and just sell an artifact. I don't wanna. Buy a steel anvil. I, I don't think they have a steel anvil. Well, masterwork lavish meals go for 30k. Oh, oh just one meal worth 30k? Jeez. Here's that, like cut gem that somebody made. This is worth maybe 9,000. We're not really sure. <laughs> we can sell these earrings. Ah, okay. Now we're in the profit section. Nice! They they accepted it with just a minor margin of profit. Sen sense dash. Sensed dash is a great treasure. We respect that this is no mere trade. The depths of voice is a great treasure. We respect this is no mere trade. Because I traded two artifacts. Because I, I gave them a whip that somebody brought into the fort. 
and I traded one of my other artifacts. So the merchant actually took note of that. It's weird how rare the appraiser skill is. I, I actually think that my negotiator is pretty darn good. My broker? They are a skilled negotiator. Tekkit is talented. But can you both be the Duke and the broker? I don't I don't know. But hey, I'll take it. We just got ourselves a whole bunch of stuff. The hillocks of Talcrag have been founded a half day's travel to the south and incorporated into your holdings. Cool. Oh no. The, the stray doe rabbit was found starved to death. You can use nobles, but they might take longer to do the job. Appraiser gives you a more accurate picture of the prices of goods. Negotiator lets you make more favorable deals. So Rith is a skilled negotiator and an expert appraiser. So that seems pretty good to have in a broker. <laughs> you would probably keep the current broker. Yeah, I think so. I think that's probably a good idea. So... Hopefully that cleared up some room, so that way we can move this stuff back. Just a pile of corpses here. We can move this stuff back into the fort, it's kind of just chilling. And I can smooth under these two spots now, yay! Okay, how is it going down here? They've almost smoothed everything. Petition. The Granite Hall has many members and group bolted and now requires a guild hall. The Granite Hall wants a minor guild. Okay, write it down. Write it down, chat. The Granite Hall minor guild. Proved. I think that I already, yeah, I already designated these two so I could just do the same thing down here. This was kind of a hard shape to make, though. And I didn't like it. Here? Yeah, okay, that's the first one. Bits. Wait. Doesn't feel right. No, it's not, because we had a two wide hall there. So there should be a gap like that, with the door going on the inner bit, and then it goes out three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, the floor engravings might be ugly, but they do help with counting. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then, okay, that looks better. 
Dope. Three, six, nine. And then we had a short bit there, and then we do the same thing one more time on both sides, like that. Boop. And boop. And then we move over one and out one. Over one and out one. And then the same thing right here. <laughs> this is all very confusing. And I think like that? Doop, 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 doop. And then it should be one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three. This is confusing because it's inverted. <laughs> you can leave the petition open for a while. Yeah, I would like to be able to keep track of petitions as well. I also like my fort layout, thank you. Every door Fortress player has their own version of changing up fort design, so it isn't endless cubicle. <laughs> yeah, so this is what I was saying. I have an idea for how I want to design my next fort. But I also think that I might keep it a secret. This is not right, by the way. All that, and it's not right. <laughs> because once we... Uh, yes, and then we do... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there's a little wall bit right here. That doesn't go that way. <laughs> but that way. No, this is still not right. Ah! <laughs> I'm having such a hard time visualizing this. There should be like five bits here. There's three, and then we've got five wall pieces, with the third being like that. And then those five wall pieces go across two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine times. Six, seven, eight, nine. And then we come back down, and that's where we get this one. That goes like that. And then here. Here and there. Is that right? Gosh golly. I don't know if it's time to celebrate yet. Hold on, I gotta do it on the other side. This is, like, when I truly miss... ...the planning mods from RimWorld, because I love how you can just fill in a space or, like, trace it, copy it, flip it, paste it. That's the best mod, and I really hope Dwarf Fortress gets something like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I... I, I miss a lot of chat. Don't mind me. Uh... Bre Breckinch? Hello there. Dwarf Fortress is a concept of noise from various activities that disturb some dwarfs. This is where you first learn to make separate rooms. I would, I would believe that. The essence of Trist Tristram. Trist Tristram. This is the pre-alarm break warning. What? How is it already almost break time? 
Yo, Shy, hello. Yes, scary, scary lawyer. That's me. I actually had my scary lawyer shirt on yesterday. Big kitty stretch. <laughs> He's hanging off the shelf. More planning for Dwarf Fortress would be a maze. I know. We started a new fort yesterday and spent an hour of real life timing messing around with the blueprint mode. Only an hour? That's impressive. Yeah, so there's a blueprint thing, but so I come from a background in RimWorld. And I'm very familiar with a lot of mods, and there's this one mod that is like up there as my favorite. And it is called More Planning. Um, and in fact, I'll show it to you without. Just don't mind the coming up part right there. <laughs> uh... RimWorld. No, wait a second. It's not called more planning anymore. Oh yeah, more planning 1.4. There we go. So, it looks like this. Instead of it just being like white boxes. So in room world, the default planning tool is just these white boxes like that, but this gives you more colors, but you can also set them on like a, a color hex field to so whatever you want. You can change their opacity, and so you can see here. You can change their opacity. You can also cut and copy plans, and this is like the best thing ever. Cut and copy. So, like, what I'm referring to is the ability to copy it, and this uses the same game controls, so you can rotate it, but you can also mirror things. So, like, in that case, where I was trying to, like, mirror a room and then flip it, like, you could- you can do that, like, copy it, rotate it, and then mirror it. And then you just plop it down, and it's done. It's like, this is my- the best mod. I think- this and Dwarf Fortress would be so nice. Hi, the Code Hermit. Can you set priorities for different colors? Um, so this is just planning. This isn't actually, like, issuing orders. And this is for players like me who... <laughs> want to just build epic things in the RimWorld colonies. And I usually just use colors to designate things like walls or like where I want to put furniture. You know, like change my colors. Like this color's a wall, this color's a door, this color's furniture, that sort of stuff. Once Dwarf Fortress hack gets updated, it has a pretty decent blueprint function. That'll be great. <laughs> Here you are, never planning your remote bases at all. Everything is boxes, and your colonists will like it. They have no choice. You just must like it. And also, what condition a man is saying... You designate jobs to be done, but it's like super different than Door Fortress, which took me a little while to wrap my brain around, <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest. Because... you don't have a population of 174 or 200 colonists, the game will actually begin to punish you if you, if you take on too many colonists, and I've heard that's because of the single threading in the game. If you get too many colonists, the game starts to freeze up and die. So it's more like a... That's built in to keep your population lower. I don't know how true that is. That's just what I've heard. Uh, so usually... I feel like I usually end up with 10 to 15 colonists. At like a, for me, a good sized colony. And... Rather than... Creating work orders like this... You would... You create work orders, like, on your benches, but then every colonist 
it's assigned job priorities by number. So instead of having job priorities like this, where you just drop them on it and say like, you do this job and you do this job and then they just do their jobs however they want, like you would um, sort of order things in the priority that you want, starting with one being like, do this ahead of even life-threatening situations like doctor and, and treat people ahead of keeping yourself alive with food, that sort of thing. And with mods, you can take it all the way up to nine. So you can get like really, really micromanaging with it. Vanilla, it goes one to four or off, like zero. And so all of these tasks, like the Rimworld equivalent, is laid out like in a little table with your colonists going down the line like this and then all their tasks going across the top like that. And then like you have little boxes where you say like, I want you to do this on a one, this on a two, this on a three, this on a four. And that designates the order in which they will complete tasks. So they'll complete tasks that are marked one first, and then they go back through the list, complete tasks that are marked two and three and four and so on. And there are exceptions to that, but like coming into Dwarf Fortress, which is like, I don't understand how to get them to do work. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is really, really, really similar to the priority system in Oni, yeah. Yeah, Mapechka, I agree. I think this works really well for Dwarf Fortress, because if I had to assign priorities like that for 174 dwarves, I think I would probably start pulling out my hair, <laughs> right? So I, I actually really like this method. It just took me a long time to come to terms with the fact that you just play it differently. It's, it's a completely different way to manage a colony. I don't have a farmer bench. Or a workshop, I mean. I like these green blocks. Like, we're gonna get more of this marcasite. Let's use cinnabar. Every time I say cinnabar, I think of cinnabun. I am sorry, Crypt Keeper. The bot, um, auto nopes. Links. It's way too much clicking and micromanaging. Uh... I don't know, I think, I think both systems work well in their own way. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Mapechka Boom, thank you so, so, so much for the brand new subscription with Prime! Welcome! Thank you for the support! Please enjoy the app reviewing. We also have uh, emotes, so you can now post links freely. And there's sound effects for subscribers. There are two that's available for everybody. The Battle Axe Tavern. <laughs> yeah, I would say that's very loot alert. <laughs> Yeah, that, that one's a good emote. <laughs> okay, so two farmer stations. It's probably one too many, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, yeah. I think we also need some... Not jugs. Mugs. Goblets. There we go. Got it. Goblets. We need some goblets. Let's make copper goblets. Actually, let me confirm that I still have endless copper. Have I have I run out of copper by this point? Copper. Bars. <laughs> yes, just 877 of them. Or maybe 36, I'm not sure. <laughs> Where did we get all that from?
forge copper goblets. I'm actually going to make like a hundred of them. Maybe you should rework the pommel, maybe a little bit. Hi, Pandolfo! Hello, hello. I missed a lot of follows. Uh, Rotwick, Malifor, Slights, Pez, Death's Arch, Malcontent, Crypt Keeper, Armblade, Cavernous Beast, Midweek, Gold. Thank you all very much for the follows. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a great day. Okay. I have not attempted a waterfall. <laughs> no, I, I, I actually do want to attempt doing something with this water. Is this... what is this? Cavern floor! How do we have cavern floor over here? Perplexing. Okay, but what I do want to do is build a staircase that comes out to right here. But before I do that, I want to make a bridge. And I want to make a couple of bridges. I also want to build some doors. How about Gabbro doors? So I'm going to go for the simple bridge trick again to protect the fort. In the event that we were infiltrated, I, I will... I will put up this bridge and maybe I'll make a second bridge as well because I can. Maybe I'll put that one closer. You know, like, multiple angles in which to fall back. This was one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we just need some levers. Easy peasy. One fisherman is feeding your entire fort. You must have a small fort, Zoe. No, gotta get the mist going. I know, I do. What the heck was I gonna do? We haven't built these yet. And what did we even need to build them? Why was I building these in the first place? <laughs> Why was I building you? Oh, gelding. Right. Gelding. And something else, too. Ah! Process plant to bag. Forever. Let's, let's not put that there. Let's... Not put it there, either. Make a whole thing... Plant to bag. Process plant to bag. If we have unrotten bag processable, processable plants, we have more than, I don't know, 20 of them, bag 10 of them. Do we have bags? I know that they're making bags. I'd say we have some bags. What about empty bags? What is the work order that I put here for bags? Make a cloth bag. If the amount of empty bags is less than two, how about less than five? Make... three. Also... We can make leather bags? We can make silk bags? Do I want to make leather bags? Do you use sheep, llama, and alpaca to make cloth? 
I don't think I have any of those. And I feel like I don't want to make leather bags either. What? Where did... Oh, we bought fish. I was going to say, where did we get fish from? What? Yeah, I don't think that I've got any of those animals in my farm. I've got a cow. And a yak. And we've got some geese and pigs and stuff. Oh, wait, 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 what was that? It's a ram. Use leather for shoes. We should probably make shoes. I haven't made them any new clothes. <laughs> I have not. Shoes. Shoals. Shoe. Forge adamantine shoe. Shoe. Make a leather shoe. Are they just gonna... Mm, like, just change their shoes out? But on their own? Set up a work order for my farmer workshop to shear a few animals. Oh, I should probably have put the farmer workshop, like, over here, huh? Well, it's too late now. We are already automating the tannery. I don't see anything about shearing. Confuse you for a while. Shoes and gloves make a set. Yes, they do make a set. Whoa. Okay, I'll put one more farmer workshop over here. Farmer workshop. I want to put it somewhere where the land has already been kind of squashed. Because we. I don't want to build over the valuable grass. But putting a farmer workshop like out here, you know what, let's do it. <laughs> it's happening. If you have automatic weaving, they'll make one thread out of a piece of wool. How do you make one thread out of a piece of wool? Sheer animal. Adjusted conditions. If the amount of material... No. How do I say in Dwarf Fortress language, if animals can be sheared, shear them? Oh yeah, zero. Infinite. The tannery and butchery in the pens. gonna throw off my my whole setup if I do that. <laughs> you two would like to know this. You just set it to infinite. Which I assume will mean exactly that. Like, if if there's something to be sheared, they'll do it. Um, I've got some rabbits walking around and nobody's feeding them. I know what I have to do. We have to make a display case.
Rabbit should go in the pen, but these are our pets. I think. I believe they are pet animals. The animal population has kind of exploded. Oh, a rabbit! A cat adopted somebody. Oh my gosh. Bunnies. I'm making all the bunnies available to be pets. So many hats. But this does explain <laughs> why none of them have been gilded. I didn't realize I needed a farmer's workshop for that. <laughs> we still haven't finished slaughtering all the other yaks. Still not sure how you make war dogs. I was able to make one war dog. The rabbits in a pasture if nobody's feeding them. They are not being fed. One already died from starvation. Hi, hey, Bufo. I do not have a magma dump zone. I don't I don't want to kill my animals. I, I did slaughter a lot of my Yaks, but I don't want to kill the cats and stuff. No, I can't slaughter the cats. Cats soap won't wash away that crime. I won't be able to wash the blood off my hands of murdering all the cats. Just like I refuse to murder the dogs. Do, 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 do. I'm not sure how we found cavern floor over here. Looks <laughs> have 500 bars of dog soap. <laughs> the next one, you're not letting the junk items collect so much. I feel like I also don't have the, as much junk items collecting. I do have a lot of bones. We're making socks. Guess we can cancel that. Cut raw glass into gems, forge copper goblets, process. Pl I believe we finished making armor. That bill was there forever, but somehow you're missing so many clothes. It's because you're human-sized. It's the humans that are missing clothes. So... How do I make them human-sized? Iron leggings? Is that what they requested? Iron greaves. Iron gauntlets. Or dwarves! Oh no, we want humans! I wouldn't have even thought to check there, but I just happened to check there. So, I want to say forge them for humans. Large iron gauntlets times 10. 
make that 15. Uh, then we also need... An... I don't know. What uniform are they wearing right now? <laughs> what uniform are you wearing? Iron male shirt. We need headwear. We need footwear. You don't have any shoes on. Iron greaves. Iron male shirt. Okay. Hey, Kuroton. We do need more material for bags. Bones are great for training crafting. We probably should do that anyway because I have bones everywhere. You can make bugs out of bone, too. That is pretty metal. Yeah, so I, I just figured that out. To make human-sized stuff... I, w I want to say, like, iron mail. Forge an iron mail, sh iron mail shirt. But, hit this thingy and then say for humans! Then I'll make large ones. We also needed iron greaves. Or humans. Woman. Gauntlets, shirts, greaves. I think like everybody's missing shoes. Iron. Eye boot. Iron boot. Low boot. I think we want low boots if we have greaves. I am not sure why I think that, but... We'll make low boots, but then we also need to make them for dwarves, too. Iron low boot. For dwarves? We need helmets. I don't know if helmets come in dwarf and human size. Iron Helm. Make like 20 of those. Do I even have iron? I feel like I should have iron. Iron Helm, but human-sized. You know what else I want to do? I want to update their weapons. Iron... Battle axes. Yeah, let's make like five iron battle axes. Iron. What else can we make? Iron maces. Yeah, that sounds pretty brutal. Iron swords. Iron sword. Iron short sword. I feel like we're gonna run out of iron. Iron shield. Just let's use all the iron. Iron buckler. You want high boots, not low? Okay. Can I just change that? Without getting rid of the whole thing. Let's just get rid of the whole thing. Iron low boot? Nope. And nope. Okay, so... Iron high boot... Iron high boots for human. Helms. 
shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes, but okay, do we have everything? Equipment. Nope. Beats. Home, greaves, hands, feet, shield, weapon. Ooh, a steel battle axe. Yeah, it's been. We do have a bunch of humans in the military, yes. Made a burrow for your depressed, depressed dwarfs. You were in a tavern with a mist generator. You wanted to try improve it. You end up flushing all but one to their deaths. Oh no. For blunt weapons, the material quality goes platinum, gold, lead. Copper is better than iron? Or blunt weapons. So, like, instead of a... Iron mace? Oops. Well, so, so we want copper maces. And this is under the assumption that, like... <laughs> Why keep a huge military presence in the caverns rather than just wall off a part that we want access to? Um, so I only had... Five dwarves here. There's only five. So I, I made a small group just to stay here. Because this keeps happening. <laughs> so they're here just to protect my farmers, but we could wall it off. Not a bad idea. But I also wanted them to be able to access other stuff. I don't think we have silver. Okay, never mind. For Warhammers and Maces, we want to use silver. I feel like silver is really squishy. a door, but don't doors just, like, crumble? Well, heck, do I have gold? Like, where did the silver even come from? Nope. Chat, we have platinum. For blunt weapons, platinum. Make lead gauntlets. No! <laughs> no! Hi, Sal! This is Yogi Liaison from the Mountain Home. It's nice to see you, Sal. Hello! Thank you, mods. The hardness is not a th okay. So what do what do we want to make the the weapons out of then? How's it going, Sal? It's really nice to see you. Welcome in. We are um playing Dwarf Fortress, and I am soaking up all the knowledge. I'm sponging it up. Platinum for bonk. Okay. Because apparently I... Wait, what'd you say? Warhammer? I architect. Platinum, steel, iron, copper. So... How many platinum bars does it take to make things? Is it just one? So... Like a platinum maze. Platinum. I don't 
Chelsea Platinum here for weapons. Whoa, Emmy, goodness gracious! That spooked me just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Wait, now I'm super confused. <laughs> what? what material are we making the things out of? <laughs> Silver's usual go-to for maces and warhammers. Thank you, Sal. <laughs> I appreciate you stopping in. Um, for those of you who don't know Sal, you should definitely check her out. She's super chill and plays a lot of Dwarf Fortress. And I, I lurk in Sal's stream all the time. And I, I... It actually feels super rude to be like, I put Sal's stream on to sleep. <laughs> but Sal's streams are just so cheap that it's like, so... What, what did I just say? So... Chill. What are words? Sal's streams are so chill that... I, I put together chill and sleep. That's what I did. That they make they're the perfect streams to sleep to. Forge things, goblets, battle axes. A lot of people sleep to your streams. Yeah, it's like it feels rude saying. I know a lot of people sleep to my streams as well, but. It's perfect. War Warhammer. Warhammer. Forge silver warhammers. Do these have to be... Okay, these can be any size. Battle axe. So what makes a good slicing material? <laughs> Census material available. YouTube con measures. I'm pretty sure I don't have that. Okay. Iron. Okay, steel then iron. So what else were we trying to do? We are doing... War hammers and... And maces. Warhammers and maces. Warhammers and maces. Silver mace. Okay, this should be enough stuff to get the humans and the dwarves outfitted because I finally realized they're not why they're not wearing armor. I I have I have just realized. It's because they're humans and we don't have armor for them. <laughs> we have so many. I mean, there are dwarves that are also not equipped with weapons, but, like, the tall humans have nothing. Oh, backpacks. Why... why backpacks and water skins? Is that so they can, like, put stuff in it and stay stationed longer? Miotopian! Thank you very, very, very much for gifting a sub to Sal. I really appreciate that. Welcome, Sal. Enjoy the emotes, and the after viewing, and their sound effects. Okay, yeah, I haven't found Fluxstone, or if I have, I haven't figured out how to do it. <laughs> Candy is the best. They don't have to run to the tavern for food and drinks. Okay, so backpacks? Back, 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 back. Leather backpack. I think we want 25. And also water skins? Whoa! I think I need to rethink my raid alert because lately it's been scaring me. Every time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> uh, 
Hello, Nemo. Thank you so much for the raid. What were you up to today? <laughs> Hi, Nemo. Hi, Manly Man Bun. Sci-Fi Alex, Reza, Mustani, Otis, Lego Fish. It's nice to see you all. Hello. Lynxes can be scary. The Lynxes snuck in and spooked me. Land of the Vikings. You were playing Land of the Vikings. How did you like that? How was your stream? Thanks so much for raiding over. Hi, I'm Jess. We're playing Dwarf Fortress. Oh, really, like, today's been a lot of sitting in menus in Dwarf Fortress? That counts. I hope you had a great stream, Nemo. I'm happy that you all have come over. Also, buttons need to be pressed. Buttons. Jez is actually Jez hug. Nemo, thank you for 33 months! 33... Where's the time going? Welcome wow. back! Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it, Nemo. Thank you for the raid and the resub! Something with bells and no drums. No rumbling from the deep? <laughs> oh, goodness. So today we're playing Dwarf Fortress. We're also taking part in Streamvester, which is actually Sal's yearly raid holiday raid event. So we're gonna be raided by a participating streamer and then we shall raid on to the next in line a bit later. <laughs> Although I, sh I don't know what time to expect. I suppose after 3 p.m. my time. That leaves time for a break. Thank you, Mopechka. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping in. And thank you for the support. 26 streamers. That's so many people. And tomorrow we're doing a holiday stream. So we have a pinned message saying... Something, I can't see it because apparently a hype train is close. I can hear it in the distance, but it hasn't made it to the station yet. Alistair pinned a message about there being Pop-Tarts, but that's only a part of what's happening tomorrow. I'm doing a holiday stream. And there's gonna be RimWorld. There's going to be Pop-Tart tastings. I have 12 boxes of Pop-Tarts over here. Like, one of these times 12. I have so many Pop-Tarts. It's kind of insane. And what's even more insane is I got them for like 20 bucks. <laughs> uh, we're also going to be playing It Takes Two with Celentre. And there's going to be a couple other things as well. So I've been playing Door Fortress for like a month straight. And I'm finally changing it up. Holiday stream time. Is there a schedule somewhere? No, because I'm not on top of it. <laughs> no titans... No titans with Havoc... Havoc... Ha Havocing today. So I did see about the backpacks not being a good idea. I was, I was reading chat, the food goes bad in the backpack, so we'll skip backpacks, but I'll make water skins. Yeah, I, I have not been on top of it. Last week's holidays kind of threw me off. Am I aware of the workaround for the equipment overlapping bug? Maybe? I don't know. The automatic setting will stop from putting on their armor boots. Which automatic setting? Crypt Keeper. Okay, so I will show you around the fort. This is obviously my cavern. I've been experimenting with making fields in the caverns. It's a very scary place. We've had a forgotten beast down here. 
and a cavern fire, but I think everything grew back. It was up a couple layers. And then this is my cavern defense area. Complete with blood and vomit. And we got some stairs. Up here is... I feel like a very shameful area for me. <laughs> it's just a mining spot. Further up... Oh, this kind of looks like a bug in my my map preview. This is where I've got temples and I've got guild halls. I'm still working on making them lovely. They're, they're not quite there yet. I just haven't properly focused on them. I don't know. <laughs> Up here we got some crafting. And then a layer of storage for our crafting. And then more crafting, but then also this is where the main dwarves live, along with our kitchen miasma. And here's where the mayor lives. We've got a tavern that was converted into a hospital. We have another tavern that is kind of sad looking. <laughs> and a lot of bedrooms. Here we have another stockpile. Mmm, and this is my barracks, slash tavern, slash tomb, slash dungeon, slash library floor. And also trading depot. It's a very versatile floor. <laughs> and then, continue up the stairs, I built a tower. So my main fort here is very eclectic out of the stone it's made from. But this tower connects to two locations. First off, this tower here, and this little pillar? I guess I'll call it a pillar. So this tower goes slightly underground to here, where there's another drawbridge that attaches to this tower. So you have to go through across two bridges to get in. Because I thought that was fun. This bridge goes to this pillar, which goes to this bridge, which goes to my farm or my my livestock farm it does look scaraby i know they want to wear armor over their clothing but they can't wear a boot over a boot mm, i think i have them set to equip over i think what are the teats nope i sure don't Go through one by one. Why is the well surrounded by blood? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, the Gujak. Nice to see you. Am I enjoying Dwarf Fortress? Sal, I'm loving it. I can't stop playing. Tomorrow's stream. Oh, I have to confirm and save. Uniform replaces clothing. Oh, no, I can't. Fine uniforms. Stuff. Well, okay, that happened. Is it Boke's tea? Boke... Bo... 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 Bo's tea. Bo I'm not sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for the brand new subscription with Prime. Welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Please enjoy the ad-free viewing. Oh, just beauty rat spelled badly. Okay, I was trying to figure out if it was a play on words. <laughs> but welcome! We have emotes, we have sound effects, and ad-free viewing. Thank you so much. Welcome. Boop. You bought the game, refunded the game. You didn't find the love in it. Mostly because you can't build structures which you love. You can totally build structures. <laughs> I mean, I just built- I built a tower. I built a whole tower here. You can build above ground. And you can build below ground. You couldn't love the doors like you thought you would. I guess that's fair. That was 
wasn't in the tutorial. Oh, a whole lot is not in the tutorial. The tutorial is super basic. And while it, like, gets you through some of the fundamentals on how to navigate menus, I didn't find it that helpful at all. No, I, I made this... ...thinking that I could expand the tomb, but now I don't think I... ...can? Unless... can we just, like, throw a bunch of coffins in one big space? It would be a days long tutorial. You know what? I have played tutorials that have been like six hours long and they're the worst. How can you place multiple beds? Um so if you don't want to if you don't want to pick things every time, what you can do you can switch this from select material after placement to use closest material. And so that will automatically pick whichever bed is closest to where you're trying to build. So, like, if I say, put a bed here, they'll go and find the closest bed in the stockpile. And then you say, keep building after placement. So you can just... Boop, 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 boop. You can fill the whole room with beds. And, well, I can't because I don't have that many beds, but... Okay, now I have to delete them all. <laughs> Yeah, no, you... As far as I'm aware, you can only cancel things one by one. There's no, like, mass cancel button. There's a lot of things with the UI that are kind of infuriating. The eraser icon... Does that actually work? The eraser icon... Sometimes it works for some designations, but not everything. Other times you have to use the staircase to designate things like so. For instance, if I build a wall, use closest material. The razor button doesn't work on the wall. You have to actually use... Which, this is also super confusing because it says constructed. Designate constructed walls. But that will delete the blueprint. Then, let's see. Yeah, no, the eraser icon doesn't do it either. Because this is only mining, chopping, gathering, and smoothing orders. It's not, like, building placement orders. And... This eraser tool doesn't work either. But, uh, but it is. Hello there. Not for building. Hmm. I like to use the task list. Task list. Task list. To cancel construction jobs. The cat is snoring. things are missing in the UI rework. I, I find that this game has um, a lot... a lot of mechanics that I have not experienced in other games. Like, the only other game that I've played um, specifically, like, colony management type thing that is comparatively deep is RimWorld. But this game has, like, so much more going on it than Rimworld does. The... ...interface... ...leaves a lot to be desired. So I can understand that frustration. However, the interface is also brand new. Which is kind of incredible because this is a 20-year-old game... ...that used to be just all ASCII, and... ...they've managed to... 
somehow convert this into actual graphics. I still cast it, guy. Uh, I saw somebody um, mention Blind earlier. Blind IRL does have like a number of tutorials. And Sal, do you have... You have tutorials too, right? Yeah, it's a starting point. Hi, Kenna! Twenty-year-old game designed with forty-year-old game development better. techniques. Oof. And I thank you so much for 19 months. Welcome back. Thank you so much for the support. And a whole 19 months. I can't believe it's been so long. Especially, I still remember having the conversation with you about <laughs> how to use a prime sub. And that feels like it was so recent. And the cat left. Uh, should I be concerned about the miasma? There's a sock in there. Why? There's... What? Chat, there's a corpse. Like, one of one of our dwarves. Their, their corpse, or the maybe... The, I think that was a bar. It might have been an elf, actually. In the end, I don't know. But... Why are they... There. <laughs> of all places. <laughs> I turned off corpses. My stockpile. Just food. There are a lot of cats, yeah, because the cats had cats and the cats... The cats, cats have had cats. Oh, I have to designate them as a tomb. Well, pff, why didn't you say so? No, I have to cancel. We need to make that multi. Okay, tomb created. I kind of wish that I would have left some room right here. I do know that they can walk sideways, like diagonally, so I could actually build more tombs along the back. I could do that. Hello, nerdier together! Thank you for the raid. Hello, hello. How was the stream? Happy stream, Vester! Yes, happy stream, Vester, to you, everyone. Hi there, Theo. Welcome in. We've been hit by the stream, Vester raid. And we shall share the stream investor hype soon. I hope you had a fantastic stream. What were you up to today? My shout out will tell me Phasmophobia! Spooky. Spooky, spooky. Hi, Discount Engineer! Welcome in. We can merge those two tomes into a fancier one. I guess we could. And Theo, thank you so much for the follow. Yes, Phasmophobia. That's that is a game that I um, have not played for reasons. <laughs> Maybe I'll convert this slash jail cell. Over here, into being more tombs. Ooh, yeah, because then I could build the wall, like, straight across. And we can open all this up into a big tomb. Ooh. That sounds pretty cool. Do I want to make it one wide? I hear that dwarves don't really like one wide hallways. The stream is going great, thank you. 
I am having so much fun with Dwarf Fortress. As always, I'm very new to Dwarf Fortress. I started playing with the Steam release because it used to be a game that looked like um, this. Oops. This used to be how it looks, so what we were just looking at... This is the exact same thing. It's just an ASCII. It's a complete mess. It makes my brain hurt a lot. Like, maybe that one's not so bad, but look at this one. This makes me want to cry. <laughs> so, prior to December 6th, this game played like this, or had... Um... Uh, like, tile packs that you could use to give the game better graphics, but now it's officially supported. So you don't have to torture your eyes any longer. Which means I'm learning how to play. Yeah, it's only a problem if they pass each other a lot. That's what I'm thinking. I love spoopy games. I hate spoopy games. I hate them. <laughs> Especially if they have zombies in them. I don't like them. The waves crashing are, are really pretty. I, I have heard that. From blind. I have heard that. Okay. I don't think we're gonna need this big of a dungeon. Although I could be wrong. I think this is church. I've just been kind of making it up as I go. Yeah, okay. And this whole thing can be the tomb now. Just the whole thing. If it was one higher, we could actually use the prison wall as part of the tomb. Because at the rate that I'm going, maybe we can just make a big tomb. Let's just do that. Big tomb. Big tomb it is. Your fortress has zombies. Oh, it's slime, I know. <laughs> I know. I hate zombies so much. It reminds you of some muds. Mud! Hi, Glissus Onion. Okay. I'm hot. I'm cold. I'm yes and I'm no. Nerdier together. Thank you very much for the follow. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope the Phasmophobia stream went fantastically. Uh, thanks for coming over to see me, although I know that you were slightly obligated due to the stream vester schedule. <laughs> we'll take good care of everybody. It is my pleasure to be a part of this this year. Please do all the things that you need to do to take care of yourself after a stream. Whoa! Is that number 250? Boop. That's 250! Huzzah! I, th I think I just did, like, a backwards fist pump, like... Huzzah! <laughs> Barker Ruster, thank you for gifting a sub to Captain Stone Space Cadet. I really appreciate that. Making it number 250. Sub goal reached. I appreciate it. I do stream full-time. If you didn't know, I, I'm a full-time streamer, so... The support is greatly appreciated. Helps keep the stream going. Thank you very much. My coffee today is really good. Yeah, we're paying we're paying the bills. What else were we working on before the break? <laughs> when the chat was like, just take a break. This is why it doesn't happen. Oh, you know what? How can I make these guild halls look nicer? They're just so bland. Shale block. Oh, I have an idea. I 
I, I just was struck with inspiration. Although perhaps it might make my guild hall less fancy. I don't know what happens if we put... Am I building a wall? I'm building walls. Ugh, I'm trying to build a floor. Ah, try again. Floors. Shale? Every time I say the word shale, I want to make some really ridiculous joke about you shale not pass. We can make statues out of platinum. Okay, so let me ask you, Sal. What are some... Like, primary uses of platinum, because I've kind of just been hoarding it like a... Like a goblin. I was gonna say I'm hoarding it like a dwarf, but I think that's obvious. Shale? Shale? I really dislike... That... Oh no, there's not enough shale! Oh no, I have to cancel it block by block. What if I did the outside? All in shale, is there enough for that? I don't think so. Plus it's gonna require me to... Lay blocks down one by one. Shale. Shale blocks. 19, and I need... That's a wall! <laughs> Panic. There's not much you can do with platinum. Other than make valuable trinkets and furniture. Yeah, you, you can use the anti-stair tool. I, ju I, I just realized. <laughs> Hi, Holy Mittens. Like a dragon. A goblin, a draglin, a dwarf. I said draglin, yeah, whatever. Crafts and high-value furniture. You can also save a few bars for if a weaponsmith goes into a strange mood. And hopefully they make a warhammer out of it. Hmm. Can you pull up the floor? Thank you. Thanks for the knowledge. If I pull up the floor, do I get the blocks back? If I place floor on top of floor, do I get the floor that was underneath it back? We might just have enough shale to be able to pull this off. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, I don't! Oh, you do get the blocks back. Okay. Oh, wait, was that the last shale? We just don't have enough to fill in these corners here, or we could just not fill the corners and oops, go like that. And then we can fill the inside with something else. You can engrave the built floors and walls too. I 
needed to make a fancy... Is it for the mahogany ferns? I agreed to build a grand guild hall. Okay, so I put a statue in there. I'll put another statue. I've got more statues. Furniture. Look at them all engraving away. I mean, smoothing away. Do we have access to mudstone? Why, yes, I think I do. Oh, a kitten has adopted a poet. Oh yeah, display cases. Did we end up making some display cases? We made two. Okay, I'm gonna put one display case. Hmm. Maybe at the top of the room. A willow display case. It's really pretty. It's such a big room. <laughs> Not a whole lot's going on. It's pretty. Assign a display item. I would like to do... Artifacts. Which are where? Found them before. Let me just look closer. I don't know. We need quite a few platinum statues to get to the Grand Guild Hall. And we're on a timer. Okay, so we want to make platinum. There's a button on the bottom. Yeah, but I want to... This is the window to select the artifact I want to display. And so I'm trying to find it. Ugh. I think there should just be... A tab. Or... Am I passing over it? Typhoon. Let's do some intense swords treasures. There is a wooden stool. Is istamost. In instamost. 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 Hold. Hold it in my brain. Istamos. Ista. The heck? Is a gem. Where's gems? Stones? Uh! Look under. Oh, cut gems. Right, with with the C, cut gems. So there, there's really just no. Distinguishment is just their their artifacts.
Also not here. Or large gems. Oh no, there it is. Yay! Yeah, 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 we found it. So I, I thought about it a, a little bit on the break. Like, why I enjoy this game so much. And I had a whole... Like, monologue prepared on that. And, you know, I forgot most of it. I got here, sat down, and can't remember what I was originally going to say on the matter. <laughs> ADHD strikes again. This fortress has attracted no migrants this season. Was it good? I mean, for the amount of time it took me to, like, go into my pantry and get a snack. Because I, I did not. What, what is that? It's just a block floor. Um... I did not eat the entire burger. I gave half of it to Salentre. <laughs> so the amount of time it took me to go and do that. I I came up with like a a train of thought to discuss what it is I like about the game. Building present. I have to move the stools. No! Just let me put it under there. What kind of blocks do we have? I want something that will contrast a little bit. And I have a lot of jet. This is going to use my jet. I don't have much jet left. So why don't we use bauxite? And take that stupid stool out. I also like how Cinnabar looks. It's also not enough blocks to fill the center. I also need to take this out right here. Was it R4? Great! <laughs> Hmm, you wish you could say no to migrants. Yeah. That would be kind of neat. I haven't really done much to mess around with... Actually, I haven't done anything. Like, I've pretty much ignored this whole mechanic. <laughs> the world! I've, I've kind of ignored it. For this playthrough. I live in a bubble. And that is that. So, I, I can't really speak to it. Having more interaction with other forts. Or just, like, other... Mem... Uh, sub... Cit Cities? Civilization? Members? Just of, of your civilization. Other groups of your civilization. There we go. Oh, yeah, changing migrant cap on the fly. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> I, I know, we have a lot of animals. <laughs> I'm only partially ignoring them, Sal. I can I can see their little uh hungry. I don't know what this one means though, like the X and the hammer. 
Those those are all pets. All my unpetted animals are in the pasture. Chicks. <laughs> yes, they're not feeding their pets. Like, look, there's a rabbit corpse on the floor. And somebody brought their pet rabbit down here and then starved it to death. They probably didn't deserve to be a pet owner anyway. Like, uh, I'm not trying to judge, but... When they just leave the corpse there, it's very disrespectful. Stuff you can do on the world map is mostly about you attacking other sieves. Yeah, so like maybe more diplomacy or something would be really neat. Did I disable children feeding? I haven't really messed with the chores menu at all. I shouldn't have children haul bodies anymore, though, because they're all becoming, like, very scarred by all the body hauling they've been doing. They don't bury, and they don't, they, they don't haul corpses. They do food hauling. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> we have to regularly go back and send them to the pasture. And the problem is, if I do that, they're just... They're gonna overwhelm it. I don't know if grass goes back, grows back. I feel like it should. But there's just a lot of animals. Because the thing is, I did not... understand how the gelding worked until... until... until recently. Like, the stream recently. And they're still working on it. We have a lot of animals. And so I have marked some for slaughter. I just, I don't want to slaughter my cats and my dogs because that kind of breaks my heart. I mean, maybe we could slaughter the water buffalo cow. Yeah, let's do that. Slaughtered! A stray mule, I guess. Let's slaughter that. Let's slaughter the other one, too. A stray cow, I think, makes milk, so we might want to keep that. A reindeer cow. It's a cow with antlers. Take them off furniture building. They don't like doing any actual work. Wait, did was furniture building enabled? I didn't really look. Furniture hauling. Not furniture building. You haven't had an indoor kitchen slash butcher since your first fort. Yeah, I, I'm kind of wishing I would have built the kitchen closer to my pasture. Although I didn't have that pasture being that pasture until like last stream. Oh, you know what? I can actually 
test here. Yeah, so this is where my animals used to be. They completely destroyed it. The land over here. Placing and building are synonymous. Okay. But it's, it's not saying placing, it's saying hauling. Oh, okay. Hi, John Romero. So in this case, it's a misnomer and they're actually building things? Okay. Look at all these cool display cases! I like how they shimmer. Oh, yeah, let's make statues. Platinum! Platinum. Statue. Your brains are leaking out of your ears. Uh, I'm sorry. I feel like that's my fault. <laughs> the long weekend mark starts in a two. Mark 2 starts into... Oh my gosh, I cannot read today. Not words, it's kind of a problem. <laughs> Long weekend, Mark 2 starts in a couple hours. There. I got it out. Your captain cut paste. Okay. Okay, fair. So a couple things. Why have they still not finished smoothing this dude's room? I have a bronze statue. Oh, yeah, I have a bronze statue. You know what? The bronze statue is going to go in my barracks because the bronze statue we have a, a statue of a giant platypus. A bronze statue of a platypus. That was actually the bronze colossus. The lord of most, right? The, no, the most lord. Something like that. Anyways. The bronze colossus was very polite. And uh, prone to adhering to decorum in most cases. However, apparently attacking dwarves and murdering poets by punching them repeatedly, sorry, kicking them repeatedly in the head while they were downed was not considered rude or a violation of any sort of established decorum. Like the, the way that the statue went around killing civilians was just so brutal. It would punch them and like pick them up and like drop them until they collapsed to the ground and then this bronze colossus' signature move was just, like, kicking them repeatedly in the head until they died. Just, like, everybody. And <laughs> until we put... It finally encountered our military. Our military handled it. A few of my dwarves, I think, are crippled. There were broken spines and broken hips and broken legs and broken arms and broken elbows and broken ribs. I think the broken skulls were pretty much just civilians, though. So, all that to say, I think the bronze statue should go in here. Oh, look! A platypus. What? Why? <laughs> she just stood in the doorway and barked. Oh, Emmy's so talkative. Oh, by the way. Yeah, she just stood there, barked, and ran off. Um, they were barking at a Chewy delivery earlier. I'm at animal explosion snowball status. Now they'll procreate quicker than you can butcher. And the butcher can kill them. But I don't wanna. Lord of the most. 
misrepresented personality. <laughs> It is a very barkable visit, yeah. That's what they were barking at. Their food arrived. Very barkable visit. Person naked. The dwarven child, and I think they're naked. They're completely naked. Do you live here? Yes. Why do you not have any clothes? I guess I should make clothes. Okay, so this kind of reminds me now what I was thinking about on Brig. I think... The reason why this game gets me as much as it does is like what we were saying before the break. Um, it's like a little puzzle box, but I just really enjoy it. You like, you peel back layer after layer after layer of things, and it's a blessing and a curse. But I really enjoy being able to work on so many things at once, which I actually find to be kind of frustrating in other games. Like other management games, colony management games, where you have a limit to your population that is w way smaller than, say, 200. In some cases, it's like 10, 15, and like you're just waiting for things to get done. And a lot of times, the way I like to play is to plan things out. Like, way ahead of time, and it's just hard to do. But... Door Fortress really allows a player to do that. Partially because you have so much dwarf power, right? Like manpower, but dwarf power. There's so many hands and, and dwarves and crafts that they can split the work and you can get so many things done at once. And it's all simulated very deeply. <laughs> Who needs clothing when you have such a great beard? <laughs> also... I really, really enjoy... the whole part about the game being unknown. As far as the disasters to lose one or two dwarves, or even 20. Yeah, it's not so bad. I mean, we've lost at this point now... 26, 27 dwarves, but... A couple of those were monster... Nine of them are monster slayers that I uh, expelled from the fort. So there's, there's this huge element of the unknown. Like... You don't know what's below you. You don't know what's coming, if anything. You don't know what you're going to find. And I... It, the same reason why I really like... Um, 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 Dome Keeper. You know, I just love the whole digging thing. I really like games where you can dig. And I really like games where you can dig and find stuff. Digging games? I dig them. I dig them a lot. Yeah. No, no, cats, I agree with you. You feel much less compelled to save scum. Me too. Like, we had a lot of crazy stuff go wrong. With the arrival of the Bronze Colossus. But that was okay. Because... I don't know. There are people to replace their... I don't want to say they're expendable, but... We can find replacements. Subnautica. I like Subnautica. I've played Subnautica, although it's really spooky. Not my... not my favorite.
If you can imagine a real-world solution to whatever problem you have, it's more likely than not to be simulated. Okay, mine, 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 mine. <laughs> that is an out-of-context quote. Alistair, I'm going to delete all of your out-of-context quotes. I kind of want to work on this, but we are on a bit of a time crunch. I agreed to make a grand guild hall here, and I've agreed to make nothing here. How is this one worth so much more? 4,500 compared to... oh, 5,000. Never mind. But even so, this room has nothing in it. Is it the wall? No! There's platinum in here! The wall is made of platinum! Oh, That's why this room, despite being nothing but an engraved space, is worth so much. Wow! Wow, platinum walls! Hi there, Dome. Nice to see you. Don't delete Alistair. We have to delete all the out-of-context quotes, though. I do want to finish up these temples. Let's just do that real quick. It's just complete mayhem down here. Look at these random coffers, random altars. There's no walls built. None of the walls are going to match because I'm out of blocks. I guess maybe we could do... Boop. Mudstone, it kind of looks like the rest of the place. Next fort, okay, like I said, I got some ideas. I don't want to tell you about them yet. But it kind of came to me last night, like, oh, I'm gonna make my fort in this, like, particular way. I can't wait to design it. Oh! That, too! I love how sandboxy the game is. Like, sand, I type sand. Um, I know that people can find it frustrating that there's no task, but I love this open-endedness that doesn't feel grindy and meaningless because some games are open-ended, but they just feel like unsatisfyingly open-ended. And somehow this game does a really good job of being sandboxy and open-ended, but it doesn't feel grindy. And it just lets me indulge in my favorite part of these games, which is building a home. Like RimWorld, I've complained about it for years, like, I love RimWorld! Until things attack me, and I love RimWorld until... <sighs> until mechanoids attack. I hate mechanoids, by the way. We're almost out of mudstone now! religions do we have now? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Hi, Dice Cocoon. Hi, User Cyrus. Yeah, I, I hate mechanoids. I hate them. I probably should give them nicknames anyway, so that way I can differentiate who is who. Maybe... Maybe next time I actually will go through the effort of naming them after chat. I did the first 20 or 30 dwarves after chat. Or I renamed them after chat, and then I gave up. <laughs> because it was so much work. And so I got to, like, here. Because it was... You have to read about them, right? Like, if you're going to... 
give someone in chat a dwarf, they gotta know what dwarf they are becoming. Who the- who their name is embodying. And there's a lot to read about on these dwarves. Hi, Omarid. Nice to see you. Can you be the dungeon keeper? You- your name is Crypt Keeper. I, d I have no idea, Alistair. This seems like a good task for Alistair. Hey, Alistair, you want to do something else besides all your other work that you're supposed to do? <laughs> I'm just kidding, by the way. I know that you have, like, important things coming up. And you shouldn't even be here in Twitch chat. Although it's late for you. you gotta relax sometimes, too. Oh, Emmy. Emmy just showed up, flopped her butt down, and said, Mrr. We have to semi auto reload it. Dogs! That was my very long aside slash TED talk about why I enjoy Joy Fortress. Thank you for her attending my TED talk. I would also like to point out about how we have a lot of drinks. Finally! Finally we have drinks. And I think it was because we were using our drinks to cook. I kid you not. I think that's what it was. What? You got hit with an ad and missed all of it. No! I talked for more than the ad length. But I am- I am no! sorry, but... Being hit by an ad, that's never fun. Uh, I want to build a tower here, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. I guess I need to grab my blocks like this, and we're going to go down five. On this layer. Five. I'm gonna use jet. I think we still have enough jet for this. And then this one will go over... Six? Maybe I can find more jet. Excited to play Rimmel tomorrow, but at the same time, I'm kind of sad because I also want to play Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> I have a problem. Needs an adjacent wall. <laughs> Hello, Apocalypse Pal. Merry stream Vestifus to you as well. Not just any wall, adjacent wall. Adjacent wall. Hi, Grilled Pikachu! I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Does a dog bed look like a Pop-Tart? <gasps> Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts are on the brain, aren't they? The dog bed is like a... It's supposed to... Be... Like an animal shape, like a hide. A hide... A hidely shape. But I just like it because it's a flatbed and it's really easy to, to capture with the camera. <laughs> you have to have a drink stockpile inside the tavern. This is this is where having chat has been incredibly helpful. Crypt Keeper, because chat taught me all these things. I don't know what I've taught myself and what chat has taught me at this point. Maybe I should say I learned I taught myself all of this. You've just been here to witness it. Oh yeah, we need some levers. So I built a handful of levers right here. This goes to Cavern Bridge 1 and Cavern Bridge 
do. So I will make another one here. And another one here. This will be Tunnel Bridge 1 and Tunnel Bridge 2. Oh, I can name these. Tunnel Bridge 1. I was just gonna say, I wish I could name them. You can! Tunnel Bridge Numero Dos. Northern Bridge Close, Northern Bridge Far. Okay. You, Jet Bridge, or Northern Bridge Close. Northern Bridge Far. An Eastern Bridge. What descriptive names I gave these! Oof. My hair feels so weird! Which one can we name the Smashy Bridge of Dwarf Smashing? That would be one of the cavern bridges. <laughs> it's called the Pancake Bridge. Whew. That is my hair. It's just like, it's, I don't know. It's sticky. Oh, it's Memorial Bridge. No, it's actually the Dwarf Memorial Bridge. I am also kind of excited to play Rimmel tomorrow. Because I'm excited to make a colony and design it. And maybe I'll turn off metanoids. <laughs> I'll just turn them off. Maybe I'll turn off all encounters. Maybe we'll play on peaceful. Because you know what they say? Happy holidays and... What's the phrase? Peace to the world? Or something? Peaceful. Ooh. Have I ever played Rimmeld on Peaceful before? I don't think so. Peace on Earth, yeah. There we go. Maybe we'll play a peaceful colony, and we'll be a colony of good guys who just want to rescue people. And the only times we use violence would be to rescue rescue other worldly inhabitants from evildoers. The hillocks of Dunesmith have been founded. A half day's travel to the south and incorporated into your holdings. Hello, Mr. Orange. Thank you very much. Peace of pizza. No, peace on earth. Copper lever. We're gonna link it to tunnel bridge number one. And so you, my friend, are copper are uh, tunnel bridge number two. Peas. Peas on earth. I mean, I am. I'm wearing my kindness shirt today. It says kindness. <laughs> you know? Be excellent to each other. Bees on Earth. Pollinators! Okay, we got some fighting happening. A cave croc strikes again. Did they finish this? Why? Uh, they still haven't done that. 
嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟。Quarry bush, cave wheat. Oh, they're out of season. I see. Pigtails are out of season. Dimple cups. Quarry bushes are out of season. Dimple cups. Cave wheat's out of season. Plump helmets. Plump helmets. Plump helmets. Kindness. Is that close to luckness? <laughs> Perhaps. You know, I've told you before, I'm not very good at geography. Stockpile still remains too large. I think I need to shrink my gem bin a little bit because as it happens, you don't really need that much room for gems. Paint. Nope. Nope. Edit button. I want to shrink it. Where's the eraser tool? Oh, duh, right here. Every time. Okay, so that's more space for our leather. I don't know what to do with all these rocks. Like, we've got some malachite, limonite, and oh. I think that it would be super swell if I could search. Make ash. The amount of available ash is less than 50. Make... Where'd you go? Ash, make... 15. And then where's my thing about charcoal? Are we out of... No, we have 333 coke. Um... If the amount is less than 200... Oh... So there, we don't even need charcoal, so we're, we're like not using wood anymore. I think I'm actually going to... Shrink this one a little bit. This this stockpile over here. And build a new one. There. And this one will be for wood. An additional stockpile, because this wood stockpile is full and there's like wood everywhere. I don't think wood deteriorates. Petitions! Someone wants to join for the purpose of soldiering. Yes, I shall approve that. We're in the post wood economy. I said Coke. Yes. Uh, Coke is the official. I don't know, is it like the old school term for. Um. Coal? Is refined coal. It deteriorates in a couple of centuries. So, <laughs> I'm a broken record, but in Rimworld, <laughs> if wood is kept, if wood is not kept under a roof, oops, if, if it's not kept under a roof and 
indoors, it deteriorates very quickly. A hundred? Oh, we should make things out of shale! I, no, I guess we just have shale again. Because I already was making stuff out of shale. Because <laughs> there was the whole you shale not pass thing. That's a wall? So I actually don't know what to do with all this wood that we have. Oh wait, this room I'm gonna engrave. Never mind. Which means I need to smooth that one spot. Smooth that one and that one and that one and this one too. Nope, that's a stone wall. <laughs> the amount of times I click wall to try and build flooring is, um... ...kind of worrying. Backwards? Shale? Whoa. Shale. And hopefully they'll make some bauxite soon. Petitions denied. I don't want to stop playing Dwarf Fortress today. The 5x staircases make the game less laggy. So I hear. Sell it to the elves, yeah. It's semi fascinating, George. Just, just semi fascinating. Uh, do, 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 do. Checking something. Shale flooring, how fancy. It shall be beautiful. Uh, I don't necessarily find it boring, George. <laughs> it was just really funny how you said it. it's semi-interesting stuff. <laughs> like, not totally high on the interesting scale, but <laughs> this is the wrong floor. It, on a scale of 1 to 10, you know, like 4 or 5, semi-interesting. <laughs> it cracked me up. Did I do the corners? No, I didn't. You eat half a pomegranate. Good job for eating, Elster. We can't put down doors just yet. Expansion! Oh, wait a second. That doesn't even cover the whole space, does it? Now that should sort of be right. Kind of, I guess. It's not really right. <laughs> it's not really wrong either.
It's in the eye of the beholder. Racer thingy. Except this one. Need to expand a little bit. Okay. I have a question, chat. <laughs> what am I gonna do with myself? Like, how am I ever going to make myself stop? Stop playing this game. Will I ever be saved? Oh, you can have zones overlap on walls. It does not cause a penalty, but adds the value of the wall to both rooms. That's super useful. Because I saw there was a penalty for something being overlapping. I don't remember what in particular, but there was one thing in the game that did not like being overlapping. Oh, yeah, this. Overlapping. That was it. These ones don't like it. That was why I had them like that. These ones don't care, though. The heck? Meeting areas don't like to overlap. It's this right here, isn't it? Meep. Still overlapping. Oh, there's no doors! I think that should be fine once we've got doors. Oops. Ugh. No, why does it do that sometimes? This, right here. I have nothing selected. I hit the zoning tool, click. It stopped doing it. Of course, right when I was trying to show you what it was doing, it stopped doing it. Jeez. Yeah, now these are overlapping and they don't care. So that's cool. I wish I could just very easily bounce between zones. But I can't do that without closing the zone and then reopening it. That right there, you see? You see without... What's the deal with that? Like, why does it keep... making some box? Stop that! <laughs> If you put a door, yes, it'll stop giving us the penalty. Cursor bug happens to you too? It's really annoying. Oh, right. Overlapping room things! Yay! So, I guess it makes sense about the value of the wall and wanting these things to overlap. I kind of assumed it didn't really matter if it overlapped, but it, it makes sense, like, now that you pointed it out to me. Okay. Is that everything? 
it's not. Did I just delete your zone? I'm so sorry. Oh no. This was meant to be a temple for no specific deity. At least I remember that. Expand, expand, expand. Okay, and now to do our guild halls! Woohoo! So both of these are supposed to be guild halls as well, although I don't have anything... I do have something to assign to the guild hall, actually. A new meeting area. Okay. Doki. Except I needed to make a guild hall. Or I wrote it down. The Granite Hall requests a minor guild. Oh, at the very top. Well, oh, so there's one. I feel like... I agreed to something else too, but I don't know. Okay, it's a guild hall for nobody. As of right now. And so now is everything properly zoned. Kinda sorta, yes. Okay. I miss some chat. You don't see a single roof constructed in the game. What kind of sunblock does the, do the dwarves use? So, every layer has a floor, a core, and a roof. So, it's a little bit hard to envision that underground. But, like, I have a specific spot up here where I, I can show you what I mean by that. Uh, never mind. They apparently dug it out. Oh, no. No, no. Okay. So, here, I have, like, a, a big open pit. So, there's walls around, we've got the floor on the bottom, and there's a door and everything. Although this is open to, to the air, but if I go up a layer, so you can see how I have walls here, nothing underneath it. But here, I have all this floating dirt. It's actually not supported by anything. That's just the ceiling to the layer below and the floor to the layer above. <laughs> so it's like ceiling floor, the, your layer, and then the ceiling floor and a layer. So I dug this out, but I also d didn't remove the roof when I did it because I was silly and I don't fully know how to do that reliably. Like, I just have a spot with random ceiling over here over here i actually did build a ceiling so like these these are towers that i built up oh these got suspended that makes sense so like they're closed off from the air you build up so this is a layer of wall a layer of wall and i have little floor bits between here so this is a ceiling 
for the layer below and a floor for this layer. And I have that going all the way up to here where I actually have a floor slash ceiling for layer 58 and 57. So a ceiling for 57, a floor for 58. And that's why I have draw bridges on the roof. This is like parapets. So this is also a little tower that I built. So below ground, that's kind of what's going on here. Like the floor is the roof for this. You struck native platinum. Yay. Ash S G Menka. Hello. <laughs> Organizing bedrooms. Sure. So I really only make them kind of teeny tiny because from my understanding, you need a bed, a chest and a coffer. And I don't think room size necessarily matters. It matters more for your nobles because they begin to demand like better things. Like Tekid became a duke, so now he wants a grand bedroom and an opulent throne room and a great dining room. But your normies just kind of need a space, a private space. So a bed, a cabinet, and they keep their stuff. Like your, your dwarves obtain things like clothing, and items, and they'll actually store them inside their cabinets and whatnot. Doesn't that risk collapse? No. Well, I'm not entirely sure what you're talking about, but if you're, if you're, oh, you're talking about that little roof bit. Yeah, I, you have to channel it, I think, from above, and then dig it out because channeling removes that. Like the bread of the sandwich. <laughs> so it, it digs, actually. I have a spot where I messed up with channeling. Just never fixed it. Right here. So I, I dug a big channel here thinking it was doing something else. That it was not doing. But so this removed the floor for this layer. And the roof for this layer. So now this layer is channeled. It has no roof and it has no floor on this layer. And so, like, you channel it. And then you dig it out. So in this case, the way to fix this here would be to channel it. But they can't reach it because it's all boxed off and everything. And I don't care that much. It's, I think it's more of a hassle to fix it than it is just to leave it. Removing the bread. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it, I'm making this, like... Um, hand gestures of bread. <laughs> Have we built a pungent in the colony? No. Hi, McGrar. Nice to see you. Your wife bought an expensive 4K curved gaming monitor, and the only thing you played on it has been Vampire Survivors. <laughs> it's a good game. Why are we making huge places digging and not by creating structures? I'm like, well, I, I don't know. We uh, did make structures too. We're dwarves. You know how the story goes. Dwarves dig and dig and dig until they dig too deeply, and then they die. So I haven't really messed around with traps too much, but I did make these traps. I made these by creating cages. Copper cages. And then you go and go here to traps and set up a cage trap. And so you need mechanisms and you need a cage to load. So first they'll just build the mechanism into the ground and like whatever that looks like. I don't know. And if they're these little squares are black, it's not loaded. But once they're like this coppery color, there's a cage there. Can you collect the wildlife like Pokemon? I probably should do that too, Spore Cloud. I just did this to try to capture the Colossus and it didn't work out. And now they're just there. So my mayor's room 
This is where my mare lives. It says it needs a decent dining quarters. Does that mean you just put a table and a chair in his room? Uh, I think it actually means they need separate rooms. So... Like, if I... If you look at how... Oh, I bet you I could share the walls. If you look at how I split this up, I have a bedroom. I have an office. And I have a dining room. Yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna share some more walls. Now that I learned that nifty trick... So, like, my mare has the three zones. Bedroom, dining room, and an office. So that is the dining area, the, or the office area here, the bedroom, and the um, dining area. Now he wants more stuff. Needs five chests, needs three cabinets. Needs three weapon racks and three armor stands. So needy. And so now he's no longer... He, he is still the mayor, but he's also the duke. He's the mayor slash duke. So he needs all the nice things. And these are not just wants. These are needs. That's an important distinction, chat. Okay, we don't have any weapon racks available. What if I made platinum weapon racks? <laughs> I don't think we can do that. Of course you can do that. I'm just gonna make, like, copper ones. Well... Yeah, let's make it all platinum. Because he needs grand dining rooms. And grand orders. We should just make some platinum thrones while we're at it. I don't know that I have enough platinum for this. I queue up too much. Let's check our stocks. Platinum bars. Oh, platinum nuggets. Yeah, let's make everything. Look at all that platinum. <laughs> I did ask them to make platinum statues, and it looks like they have not started yet. I think I need more metal forgy things. They're so needy. <laughs> They're so needy. Maybe turn off the mirrors. Do it. Hi, Mayor Taco Tyler. Thank you very much for the raid. Trigger Bell, hi. Welcome in. It's nice to see you. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Hi, Gamer Drew. Hi there, Panda. What were you all up to today? Crusader Kings. Ooh. One of my favorites. <gasps> Me too, JSOG. One of my favorites. <laughs> Jeslik. Taco Tyler, thank you so much for 10 stinking months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For the continued support, thank you for the raid. That's so sweet of you. I hope you had a great stream. Iberian Struggles. I never finished my Iberian Struggle playthrough. Welcome in. I'm Jess. We are playing Dwarf Fortress. 
which is a colony sim that has been in development for quite a long time. It finally got a graphics update, as in it got graphics, <laughs> on er early December, actually, and so I've been playing this non-stop since it came out on Steam. Ooh, uh. The stream's going well, thank you. I'm, as always, enjoying the heck out of Dwarf Fortress. Learning, there's a lot to learn. Like, as Sal said earlier, there's always something new to learn in this game. Yeah, like 20 years. I think it's actually 22. Did I end up making the... Weapon rack. Armor stand. Platinum armor stand. Right now, we are trying to set up our mare slash duke with all the nice stuff. Because he needs it. Whoops! <laughs> I just banned JSOC. <laughs> uh, that was a complete misclick, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm sorry, unbanned. <laughs> Look, the the band <laughs> The ban button is too... Here, I'll show you what happened, okay? <laughs> um, My chat is normally on the other window, and I moused over to click on something over here, and I just moused way too hard and clicked, and it landed right on the ban button. <laughs> oh, gosh. JSOG, you've been demoted! <laughs> Accidental. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let me just remod you. Like, how do I do that? Access denied. What is your actual name? Just some... I just... I want to copy pasta your name. Because your name in my bot is just JSOG. Like, I know your name is just some old guy. But I don't know how to spell it. Uh, Cody, you rebanned him again. And now I can't mod him. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is, this is like, this is terrible. Look what just happened, okay? Just some old guy is banned. <laughs> Mod anarchy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, Jay Momin, nice to see you. Yeah, so as you can see, like, JSOG's name in my bot is actually just JSOG. Because there's this nifty thing here. If you didn't know this existed, you can actually give users nicknames. Like... Bot. So... The na their name is, like, still... Oh, Jess, but they... Well, it didn't show up that time. But so yeah, that's that's what JSOC's name is. Ugh. Boop. Okay, I think you're remodded. I'm I'm really sorry, JSOC. At least it like I I know that. It stinks to be on the end of that, but at least it wasn't, like, somebody else who might have maybe taken serious offense to that. <laughs> I mean, unless JSOG actually did take serious offense to that, I already did queue up armor stands. You 
you're a bad influence. <laughs> oh, I feel really bad. What else can we stud with platinum? A platinum sarcophagus versus coffin? We could just make platinum goblets. That would be kind of fun. I'm going to make a handful of platinum goblets. <laughs> Oof. My sincere apologies, JSOG. That was not intentional. It's actually kind of scary how easy it was to do that. I wonder if I've accidentally banned somebody before. I think I would have noticed. Statue. I'm gonna put another statue here, but I can't yet because there's stuff in the way. The statues should help make the rooms fancy. Dishonored is up for free on the Epic Store. You know, I do have Dishonored. I never finished it. I played it once. You only have one unmanned request, and it's because they dared you to deny it. <laughs> They dared you to deny it, so instead you just left it. <laughs> My mods are snarky. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> the stray mule has been slaughtered. Are you gonna build this ever? Come on. That's gonna be my tower to the outside world. And maybe also something to do with water. I don't really have time to try and mess around with the water today, which is unfortunate because I wanted to try messing around with water today. I was gonna turn this into a tomb, and it's not too late to turn it into a tomb, actually. Petitions? Denied. I actually might need to re-up my bard population. This game is on your list to get? Oh, I hope you have fun. I hope you have fun with it. Whenever you have the opportunity to play. You need bedtime, Cody? Is Cody bedtime? Sleep well, Cody. Thank you for being here. I will be seeing you tomorrow. Because tomorrow's the holiday stream. There's going to be retrospectives and Rimworld and Pop Tarts and more Rimworld, and then it takes two with Cilantro. It is late. 12 30. The rough hewn white jade cluster. We can put up a statue. Furniture. All right, Tekkid. Your dining room is considered grand. Your throne room needs a throne room. Is that just like an office? The office, but like the awesome version of it? Where do I see the deets on this? Yeah, it is. It's still not epic enough? Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, maybe we should make some more metal smiths. If... Because they're all being used. They are forging away. Every, every single one. Okay, yeah, let's make one more. Because we have this nice little spot right here. Workshop. Metalsmith. We need an anvil! Do I not do that there? I'm not sure where we make an anvil at. But I'll just add it here. Forge an anvil. <laughs> oh yeah, the display case with the high value artifact. Yes, we'll do that. Except there's nowhere to center it. Maybe I'll put it in the corners? And let's get a couple more chests. Because apparently he needs more chests. For who knows what reason. Oh, let's give him the fancy chest. Obsessed. Or I guess we could put the fancy chest on a pedestal. Okay. What else do you need, Tekkid? He already has a throne room, he needs an opulent throne room. We have a great dining room, he needs a grand dining room. Also a grand mausoleum, I have no idea what that entails. Oh. Is that just insinuating that we need a grand mausoleum in the fort? Or that he needs a specific thing for himself? He needs it assigned to him. <laughs> what if somebody just put a gun? Oh my god, just a skeleton in here. <laughs> Why not in the other room? <laughs> there are open caskets. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. They just threw the body in there and closed the door. <laughs> They're literally a skeleton in the closet. Figure out what we could do. They <laughs> do that with your caskets too. <sighs> I don't know that I have any. I do. Now the question is am I going to be able to put a casket on top of a skeleton? Building present. You don't say. I think I can solve this though by deleting the tomb. Yes, we'll make them a, a platinum sarcophagus. That is exactly. I I hear the cat snoring, but I don't see the cat. 
Is that the relic coffin? I haven't done anything with the relic coffin because... I don't know what to do with it. Like, is it currently occupied? Also, this is truly like the strangest tomb. Okay, let's see what's going on down here. <laughs> <laughs> Did these get... No, they're still active. This one is suspended. You just haven't done it yet. Why don't we use... Mudstone. Mudstone and... Shale... Skeletons in the closet are why we need to punish dwarves and a pungent. Artifact coffin is a good way to make an opulent mausoleum. I just had an idea. So an artifact coffin assigned to tech it? Or just have it in there? <laughs> I'm not so certain that it's empty. Save faster, I have ideas! I'm gonna forget them. I really hope someone made bauxite. Somebody did make some bauxite. Lot, though. In the end, I don't really think I like the look. Maybe I will use my... Other blocks? I don't know what I have a lot of. I kind of wish I could see my stockpile before I... I'm into building something. We could use chert. We have a lot of shale. But I'm, I'm going for... Contrast anyway, let's use mudstone. Okay, mudstone. So maybe I'll do bauxite on the top and then we'll do mudstone on the bottom. Did I end up zoning these? I did. The Rocks of Aquamarine. I agreed to build a guild hall. Just getting there. Is any feeling more ADHD than having a great idea? Thinking about how great it, it was to have an idea and that thought overwrites the original idea, you're left with nothing. Yes, that happens all the time. Chest icon in the right in the noble panel? I... Like this one right here? That one's just saying that you need to have more things. Like... I have six chests and two cabinets. He wants five chests and three cabinets. And then he wants three armor racks. And three weapon stands, but I only have one of each. Where do they go? They go in the spaces. It can be in any, any of the spaces. But like... The bedroom, dining room, office. I think it can just be spread between them.
So in my case, the, the most ADHD feeling is like ha having a good idea and then just the fear that I'm going to forget it. Like knowing that if I don't write this down right now, I could forget it. And then I would mourn the loss of my idea. So usually when that happens, I just like send myself a message. Like, I have idea. <laughs> I'm sending myself a message so I can't forget that I have idea. <laughs> Let's hope I don't also lose my message. Or I'll like write it in my notebook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's no centering doors, which is fine, I guess. You know, I started building this and I changed my mind. It would be nice, like, when you enter the menu to choose something. Like, to choose a block after you've selected select material after placing if that search bar was just automatically selected the king later may demand certain things in certain spaces really okay i think i'm going to split this because i i now have two people in my fort that Actually, I only have one person demanding a mausoleum, but I'll make one of these Tekids mausoleum. And then whenever we get somebody else who wants fanciness, they can have the other side. Oh, my game just crashed! It no, just it didn't. Okay, I'm not going to bother with that right now. <laughs> okay. Well... Maybe I'll make it out of Cinnabar this time. <laughs> building after placement. Cinnabar blocks. wonder why it crashed. It, it was just like so random. Just suddenly it crashed. That was all she wrote. It, it really could have been worse. Like, I'm... I'm not as upset about that as I would have been. <laughs> hey, Cormogger, nice to see you. I did have some nice holiday time, but it's still the holiday season because we're doing a holiday stream tomorrow when I say so. <laughs> yeah, the end of 2022 is at hand. Somehow. It's crazy. Build me my wall. There's a lot of animals in the kitchen. Alert! Thieves! They can't really do much, can they? they have to actually go through my tower to get into the fort now. And I don't think they can do that very easily.
Okay, so I kind of thought that if I got rid of the tomb designation from this spot, that they would pick up the body and move it to a different tomb. But nobody's done that yet. The dungeon. Drink. Yeah, I cannot believe it's already the end of 2022. Time has been flying by so... Fast. Ford Iron Helm 20 has been completed. Yes! Awesome! Okay, so they're also getting on the wooden side. Look how much wood we had. They were just hanging out. Oh, yeah, good point. We have to assign it. This is Kiros. Yeah, I don't n need a tomb for that person. There's a tomb for Maddie. The hillocks of Hawk Tower have been founded a few days travel to the southwest and have been incorporated into your holdings. I guess I didn't make a memorial. I totally did. Oh. These are actually all assigned. They've just assigned... Tombs. <laughs> They'll still get assigned. Yeah, that's what the slabs are supposed to be for, though. Hello, Spiffy Ball Guy. You are late to the party. How's it going? Do my dwarves show up here? Slab engraved. Entombed and memorialized. <laughs> I want them just to... the slab to be the end of the line with that one. I want actual bodies to go in the coffins. And I could have sworn that I had... Esmar Deg to Sid. You have a... you... There's a slab! I can't believe I killed Besmar. Death Row Gamer, hello there. You make a tomb over the slab. So, like, I have a tomb for Besmar, and then Besmar also has a coffin, but there's no body, and I can't revoke. The assignment... What if I tried... Deleting that? And then putting it back. It still went to Besmar. Make a new one. One over the slab and assign it to Besmar. That's kind of weird.
weird? Why is it like that? <laughs> Except... Assigned to... Besmar. Besmar, Besmar, Besmar. Has a grave. Nope, you have a slap. Risen. Okay, so Risen here also has a slab. So build a tomb over their slab, except and then assign it? That seems really weird. I don't see why that fixes the issue. Datton? I don't think that I ever made something for Datton. Okay. Datton the Mace Dwarf. It crashed again! <laughs> Urgh. 